We're going to be doing some IV calculations using dimensional analysis. There are two problems on this sheet, and there's multiple sections to each problem. The first one, we are in what is our infusion and completion times for an IV fluid with an electronic device. And so that means we're going to be looking at mils per hour when we're talking about an electronic device. IV infusing at 120 mils per hour with 250 mils left in the bag. Our current time is 1430 using military time. And when will this IV be completed? We're going to round to the nearest milliliter or and or minute. So we'll start out with infusion time. Infusion time in hours. So hours equals, and we know that hours will have to be in the numerator. So what do we have with hours? Well, we have one hour is 120 mils. So one hour is 120 mils. We will climb the hill. Mills goes on top. What do we have with mills? Well, we have 250 milliliters left. 250 milliliters are left. And are we ready to solve? We are, because we can cancel mils, and we're looking for hours, and that's what's left. And we calculate that out, and we get 250 uh, over 120. 250 over 120 equals 2.08 what? 2.08 hours. Well, what is 0.08 of an hour? We need to find out. So we're going to calculate minutes equals. Minutes goes on top, and we need a conversion factor. 0.08 hours is how many minutes? So we need a conversion factor. There are 60 minutes in one hour. Climb the hill. Hours is our 0 0.08 over 1. We're ready to calculate that. And it comes to 4.8, which equals 5 minutes. 5 minutes. So we have 2 hours and 5 minutes, and that is our infusion time. Now we need to calculate our completion time. So completion time is the current time plus the infusion time. Completion time is current time plus infusion time. So completion time is going to equal. And we're going to need our current time first. Our current time we have in the um, problem as 14 30. And what I like to do is to separate the hours and minutes. So hour here, minutes here. So 14.30 plus our infusion time, which is 2 hours and 5 minutes, 2.05. We add these together, we get 35, and 14 and 2 is 16, so our completion time is 16.35. In the next problem, our IV is infusing at 42 drops a minute. 900 mils remain in the bag. Tubing drip factor is 15 drops in a mil. Our current time is 0250. When will this IV, IV be completed? We're going to round to the nearest mill or min. So we first start out with our infusion time. Infusion time in hours. So hours equals, we're going to put hours in the numerator. And what do we have that we have with hours? Well, we don't have anything with hours, so we need a conversion factor, hours to minutes, right? So how many, what's the conversion factor, and it's one hour is 60 minutes, and our minutes will go on top now. 
climb that hill. So minutes, we have, what do we have with minutes? Well, we have one minute and there's 42 drops in a minute. And then we have drops will go in the numerator. What do we have with drops? Well, we have 15 drops and 15 drops in one milliliter. And that's a given factor, isn't it? I'm sorry, given quantity. Mills will go on top. Well, what do we have with mills now? Well, we have 900 milliliters. And over our placeholder, are we ready to solve? Well, minutes cancel, drops cancel, mills cancel. We end up with hours, which is what we're trying to find. And we can calculate this out, and we get 5.5. Three, five, seven. We're going to round up there, so it'll be 5.36. 5.36 what? 5.36 hours, right? What we have to now find out is what is 0.36 of an hour in terms of minutes. So minutes equals, minutes will go on top. We don't have anything with minutes, we have hours, so we will use a conversion factor. So 60 minutes is one hour. Multiply, put hours up here. Now we have a given quantity of 0.36. We're ready to solve, and that ends up to be 21.6 over 1, which equals 22 minutes. So we have 5 hours and 22 minutes. And what is 5 hours and 22 minutes? That is our infusion time. Now we need to calculate when this will end. When is our completion time? It's 0250, so we know that current time plus infusion time is completion time. Our current time is 0250. We're going to put 0250 here and add that to our infusion time. And I like to separate hours, minutes. Okay, so we're going to put our 5 hours and 22 minutes here. Let's add the minutes together. We get 72. And add the hours, we get 7. Now, 772 doesn't exist. We know that we need to now change this 72 minutes to um, something that's uh, usable. And by doing that, we can add, I'm sorry, subtract 60, add 1. So by subtracting 60 from our 72 minutes, we then can add to the hour column. We add those together, we get 0812. So 0812 is our completion time.